Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the 18th to the 24th of February 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Hope you are Sagittarius. Here are the cards. We have the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups and the Eight, yeah, the eight of Wands. And the overriding energy that I pulled from a separate deck is the Two of Swords again. So you have two, 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 two of Swords. The Angel and Oracle cards that came out. This is finding harmony. The need to find harmony and balance within you and in your external world. And this also is a card of harmony, funny enough, the Six of Cups. The Enchantment card is very much about seeing the magic of things and um, seeing the magic of the world as you did when you were a child so it's almost kind of like reassessing your position in life and starting to feel more passion more driven more focused more or inspired by the world around you and how you fit into it the Two of Swords, you have two Two of Swords here. This can mean it's a two. It can ask for the need to be balanced as well. Uh, maybe there needs to be some balance in your life. Maybe you're feeling out of balance at the moment. The Swords energy, Swords stand for truth and clarity. And they're the need to see the truth of the situation. You need to see the truth to make a decision. And the longer that you don't deal with the situation, the longer that you avoid it, this is almost kind of like avoiding dealing with a situation. There could be emotions involved. You have your intuition represented by the moon to guide you. Do what instinctively feels right to make clear choices um, and choose the right path for you. See, the right path is there in front of you. And it's about moving forward now, Sagittarius the need to progress. I think... I think for some of you... I mean, the lover's card is very much about clear decisions as well. The need to find clear decisions. The Six of Cups... This can be about the past shaping your future, maybe past experiences. And when we talk about the enchantment card, it kind of ties in with this a little bit because this is children in the picture. This is when you remember happier times. Now, it can be somebody from the past coming back into your life. This can represent one version of this card. But this card is also about remembering happier times, remembering times when you were happy, when you were innocent, when you were full of potential. And getting that back, it was recapturing it in your mind, finding balance to recapture that. And that's what the enchantment is all about. And I think this is where you're making clear decisions now to move forward, to try and recapture that balance, that happiness, that potential within you. Um, see things as, you know, uh, rainbows and roses, I guess. Uh, it's difficult to say that when we're adults, but this is the kind of like meaning or more meaning of this card is to find real happiness and contentment that we used to have. It's there within us. It's there within us. It's just been weighed down through worldly experience. I feel that emotions have got the better of us. Um, sorry, the better of you in certain respects. I say us as in Sagittarius. Um, so this could be... Yeah, this could be... You see the cloud here... It's the mist causing confusion, not being able to make clear choices. And that's what you're feeling. That's what you're feeling stuck. Something is in your life right now. Could be to do with a relationship. Um, could potentially be to do with career as well. Maybe feeling stuck, um, not being able to make clear choices. But I kind of feel more often that this is to do with a relationship. Um, and you need to find that balance again. You need to be able to see things clearly. And you won't be able to see things clearly while you've got the blindfold on. So this is about truth and clarity being at your side, ready to show you what you need to do. Um, but I kind of think the universe is stepping in 
it is stepping in. We have the lover's energy here and we have this um, seven of wands here. This is all about growth, potential, opportunity, expansion, messages coming at you, being sent to you. And this is kind of like divine connection as well. Um, at speed, things beginning to shift, things beginning to move, things beginning to move forward for you. There's growth and expansion on hand. You're beginning to find that passion, that drive to move forward. Maybe after a period of not moving forward. And I kind of think, certainly with this lover's energy here, you're healing from something. This is, um, I think it's Angel Raphael, uh, who is God's healer. And it heals. It, this is a healing energy. This is the divine shining on a divine union. So there could be soulmates involved as well. A soulmate relationship maybe, maybe from the past. Maybe somebody from the past coming back and it being an offer of an, a soulmate relationship for you. But I think you're healing from the past as well. I think this, you're probably not wanting to see it. Are you avoiding a relationship with somebody? Are you scared about a relationship with somebody? Because there's opportunity here. There's opportunity to move forward in, in love, most definitely. Um, it could well be the fact that your past experiences of love have tainted your perception of love. Maybe you've closed your heart off to it. Maybe you've found an element of balance in your life and you're scared about letting somebody else in. But this is about a real soulmate connection here. So think wisely, think wisely, choose wisely. That's what the message is, because the lover's card is also about a choice. Um, this card is also about making clear choices, making the right choice. And if you do, I mean, this could be long-term happiness and sustainability of a relationship. This could be real, real um, reason to celebrate. Could be an engagement, could be marriage potential. Um, so if you grab the opportunity which the universe is bringing you, it's bringing you here as well, grabbing this opportunity to connect with somebody, you could actually improve your life for the better. This is about solidity. This is about a stable relationship. The 1111 card is also, I mean, for me, it can mean a number of things to people, but it can be about um, people who we've lost to the other side, sending us messages, sending us blessings. You sometimes see that through music repeating, um, throughout the day reminding you of them, or it could well be a white feather, some people it's birds, and there's a number of things. But, you know, there's a kind of like blessing that goes with the 1111 as well. Um, I think this is divinely guided, certainly for some of you, this is divinely guided um, love coming into your life, a real soulmate partner. Um, you need that love in your life. I think opening your heart to try new things again, like you did when you were a child. See the world in an enchanted place again. Yeah, so I'm just, there you go, I'm just pulling the top of the deck. The sun card, yeah, beautiful energy, good news, success, happiness, joy, reason to celebrate, finding your own power. Beautiful, committed relationships. I mean, this can be money as well, but I think in the context of this, it is very much about being grounded and, yeah, finding a committed relationship potentially. Beautiful energy. Yeah, finding happiness again, the offer of love with the Queen of Cups. Oh, sorry, pulled too many. King of Wands. Finding your own natural power again, your own self-belief. Your own conviction. Maybe finding that passion again. Someone reigniting that passion within you. Taking, leader in your, taking the leadership in your own life. Not allowing past circumstances, past history, to stop you moving forward. This is somebody who will move forward regardless. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing. This is meant to be. If it's a relationship, it's meant to be. Good luck and good luck fortune working in your favour. And there you go. This is passion. This is fire. 
this is your energy sagittarius passion fire the fire signs and um, passion reignited the chance of a new beginning with somebody it bodes well i hope you enjoyed the reading sagittarius if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a great week and i'll see you next time thank you